All right, Swordy, sorry about that. I thought that was your team. I thought you actually didn't mute up and stuff, so I obviously was a bit shocked and I was making sure, but then I found out it's just another banded team that we somehow annoyed when we were trying to keep the peace and I was just letting them know, look, at the end of the day, if they're going to do bad things, we will get involved. Like, they basically want to imprison people. But this banded team, we're going to go try and annihilate now because, like, there's enough banded teams in this show. Do you agree? Yeah. Yeah. There is, and uh, it looks like TG, from what you've been saying, TG's gonna be annoying that from now on as well. Plus you, once we let you go, because let's be real, like I'm gonna have to let you go soon because you're gonna have no content. Um, so apologies about that. I thought it was, um, thought it was your team. You can see how I could, would, thought it would have been though. Yeah, um, yeah, I understand. So if it was your team, it would have been cool, I guess, coming to free you, but I don't know. I think we- They don't even know where I am. I didn't, every time you say like, I didn't tell my team, I feel like you told your team, but I think if you told your team, they'd be here already. Mm -hmm. So that's all good. Um, I'm gonna go annihilate them. Also, by the way, they used your plane. Your new one? Your new shiny one? Pretty good. They got one of our members down to half a heart. Wait. Wait, who, who is this new team then? I'm confused. Uh, they... Basically, I don't know. They propped out out of nowhere. Um, it's SSR and all them. Um, so they most likely attacked my base while I've been gone. If they've got my plane. No, we took that plane. And we dumped it, pointing, basically, you know, knowing that they would probably take it so that if your team went looking for you, they would go in the wrong direction. Ah, oh, okay. But now That's that nice plane is, it. boom, blowing up. It's, okay. it's in our backyard, all on fire. But yeah, you stay here. I'm confident now that your team don't know where you are. So I'm bringing all my men and no guards here. So if your team do know, I guess now would be the perfect fun. time. But I guess if I come back and you're still here, no one knows where you are. I, and I'm willing to and I'm willing to take that risk because I've had you here for at least a day So I'm happy about that. See you later. See you later. All right guys um, Lock and load uh, Get ready is have you got explosives um, on you? Yeah, I'm we were totally not trying to cough up a missile <laughs> There's no way we're gonna cough up a missile that quick and um, I mean if, if, if we had a chemical plan and like an honestly refiner, no. We could have done this. I want to end them here today There is enough bandit teams on this map We're annihilating them and they can then disperse and join other like they're just gonna join probably other bandit teams like sword or something in the future But we're gonna get rid of this team today. Okay, that's what we're gonna do okay. We're gonna try to and I think we should be able to especially if we retaliate so quick right now so is all your gear refreshed? Um, Are, no. You got ammo, armor, Mine explosives. Kind of. Damage. Yeah. Okay. It's, you're fine. Uh, no, let fine. me just double check. So as long as our plane didn't get raided, please say they didn't check the chest. Please say they I mean, didn't check the chest. I mean, they all died. They all died. They so. did. Not all of them. One guy got no, away one. and he was on the run. So let me just check. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Oh, we're good. They didn't know it was in the chest. Okay, so I am going to take the plane and I'm going to use that and you guys are going to go on foot to the base. So I remember, do. take it nice and slow, clear them out, kill them, break their beds. Once they break the beds, they hopefully go back to spawn. We get rid of them. And then the mission is to obliterate that base so they can't go back there. Now, I need to let you guys know. Yeah, grenades, all that kind of stuff. But remember, clear them out first. Make sure before tossing grenades and stuff like that. But I need to let you know, there is a base next to that that is friendly and is actually making these planes and stuff for us. So we need to be careful not to touch anywhere near there. Everyone ready? Yes. Hopefully yep. this plane doesn't get shot down. Wait, okay. where's Tomer? Start making oh, your way. Probably like that again. Start making your way <laughs> and I will meet you there with the plane. <laughs> okay. okay. Follow me. All right, here we go. We're going taking them out. It's time. All right, here we go. I'm coming in. Okay, so I'm gonna try to take out the planes so they cannot escape at all because we want to annihilate this team here and now. There we go.
we go. There's one plane down. There's someone in the tower. Someone in the tower. Okay, I've got the tower. Okay. Ooh, got it. If anyone's in that tower, surely he's dead. No, no one's in that tower. Or he got down. Oh, he is. Yeah, something is in that tower. Contend. I'm gonna try to take out the helicopter so they can't escape in it. Okay, so the toxic grenades so are cool apparently radioactive. Yeah, I, I jumped. Okay, the helicopter's down. Two planes left. One of them's going oh. for the planes. No, uh uh. <laughs> Brent, there's yeah, a let's... guy in a hole, okay? Like, right down, okay? Yeah, break their beds, guys. Send them back to spawn. Once they come back to spawn, that's it. They're gone. Beds are gone. There we go. All planes have been gone. Right, am I, I'm that's confident true. that I'm going to land this thing without it getting blown up, right? Oh. Let's finish the rest of them off. Behind us? Yep, I see him on a tree. Yeah, finish them off, guys. Break their beds. Oh, if, yeah. if you're in the camp, break every single bed that exists. Oh, their guns hurt so Ivel, much. How? What? Does anyone know why Ivel literally left our land and became a rebel? Does anyone understand why? Don't let them get to the plane and don't let them attack it either. Oh yeah, shrimp's dead. <laughs> GG guys, GG. Is that an enemy right there? No, it's one of us. The rest of the He's on the run. He's swimming towards our base. Ah, don't worry, I'll get him in the plane. Destroy the base guys. There we go! Oh my god! We just finished him off just before he got to our base. Who knows what he could have had? Check his body. He was just about to get to the base. Woo! Yeah, oh, that's right. Perfect here. timing. I, I need the foot. Did he have any explosives or anything on him? No. <laughs> what was he doing? Was our front door open? He has the PPSH and the AS50. The PPSH was a lot Oh my god, okay. Look at that, we just got him just in time. He was about to get to the base. Apparently he had no explosives though on him, but like still he could have caused some sort of damage, right? He could have done something probably. He was like, he was a man on a mission, I'll tell you that. So I'm gonna make sure we go over there and uh, that the base has definitely been annihilated and all their beds have been destroyed because the way the server works is that we all have our certain things that we do and by destroying beds and like leveling bases, if there's nothing more to continue their story, their life, Whatever they're up to this season or whatever it is up. The only way they can come back into the game is if they are absorbed into another team. But like, as you can see, I didn't really want to start a war with these guys. And if anything, I can't afford it. So if today went bad, we would have been stuck in another war. But like, I don't want to get my hopes up, but I'm almost certain that we've completely got rid of them all. I freaking hope so. Okay, I'll tell you this. Or, or, or let me put it this way. I don't think they're going to be imprisoning anyone any time soon. Not a single survivor. But let me know down in the comments. Do you think that they will come back? Because maybe this might not, not have been their main base. And if not, then the rules state that they can still live on. So do you think they'll come back? Or do you think that these guys that we never even got to know the real names of or what they were kind of up to mostly other than just imprisoning people. Do you think they'll come back or do you think they're gone for good? Let me know down in the comments. Anyway guys, thank you for freaking watching. <laughs>